Okay, Kimari's strength boost here is nice. Uh, it's only a 1, though. That's a shame. Whoops, wrong way. We want to take him towards the MP, actually. He's already got a lot of HP. And he's going to get even more. Look at this grid. There's, uh, well, this one's locked out, but another three of them here that he can reach. Wow. Yeah, we were talking about, like, you know, Auron being super OP because of death and this, that, and the other, but it's, I think Tidus is the true, at the moment at least, the true OP character. Given Disney's involved, I expect copyright to be even more of an issue. Yeah, I mean, that's why I would assume, but uh, Mike has said that he's uploaded Kingdom Hearts content and it hasn't been a problem, so uh, we'll just have to take it as it comes, so I'll see what I can do. Okay, final save, and then we're going to start going in. Let's put this out. Okay, glad you found the emotes. Enjoy them. We've got a lot of good ones. Okay, uh, let's speak to this guy. The operation will begin shortly. Please, Please check, check all, all your equipment. equipment. Mm. You all right? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin, but they stick me here. Mm. If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. <laughs> the chat is so mean to Gutter as well. Poor guy. Oren's like the only one trying to keep him alive. So... Just doing what they say? It just won't be enough. Okay, so I say... You should be out on the front lines. Then after that, am I done? Or do I have to chase it? Like, I have to speak to him again. I forgot about that. Do it a second time. You need to tell him twice. Okay, so I'm going to tell him this first time. That's right. It's not fair. So I think usually I just leave it and then I don't do it again. Do something, even if it means bending the rules. Okay, so this is the one that that gets him killed. Sorry, Gata. Rip. F in the chat for Gata. That's right. It's not fair. So I'm done now, right? He is marching off to his death. F. Okay. Well, it's the last you guys are going to see of Gata, you horrible people. Pushing him to his death like that. <laughs> Tell him again for good measure. <laughs> it'll, it'll be funny if you do it a third time, then it turns back into Luzu dying. <laughs> can you even tell him again? I've got to show Luzu what I can do. Okay, no, you can't. <laughs> Tell him again for good measure. Sheesh. Okay, let's get this dialogue and stuff sorted. Oh. I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. <laughs> I mean, that hug is so wholesome from Keynog, but you, Oren. Oren's just not Ten having it. Years, is it? <laughs> That's when Keynog, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks and also commands the Crusaders. Listen, we've all saved him before. Time for the genocide run. <laughs> ready to move at your command, sir. Indeed. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work. You know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? So sinister. Lord Keenock. Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened. I love how chilly is about that. Like, that's a pretty rude thing to say. And he's just like, I what heard that. And, where? and he just carries on, like, Fulfilling a promise calmly asking him questions. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? <laughs> yeah, that that the way they handle that is just so I annoying. I think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation. Yeah, so that's a good question. Which Xanarkand do you think Kinok is referring to here? May break through. It has this to be. Not safe. He must know something. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell I, me I when think... you're ready. I think the way, like, how cryptically Oren handles that question 
just laughs and kind of shrugs it off. I think if he answers that question with any accuracy, obviously it reveals something that the player shouldn't know. And so he has to be asking about dream, like dreams, Anakin. It's got to be. Um, but then you'd wonder, like, well, how does he know about all of that stuff? And well, he's a maester for starters, but he was also Oren's friend once upon a time. So who's to say what he knows and what he doesn't? I mean, I think too many pilgrimages have kind of made it to the Zanakin ruins. That I don't think it's that huge a thing to know about it. Like someone like Keenock. If he wanted to, he could probably travel there, or he's talked to people that have already made it to the ruins before, possibly. So, Are you ready? wait, no, not yet. Please hurry. And so I think, um, if I had to guess, I would say he's talking about Dream Zanakand, possibly. Like he he probably knows that like Unaleska was originally from Zanakand, and all of that business, and like Yevon and that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. To me, it seems possible. That he's asking about that, and well, true. He's also bu buddies with uh, with Micah. Keenock was there when Jack landed in Spira. That's also a very good point. Yes, Hoppenheim. Thank you for the donation, but honestly, I appreciate the the insight there even more so. Uh, he was there, so I guess when Jack first arrived, he's like, "Yeah, I'm from Zanakand." And everyone was like, "What are you talking Welcome about?" Welcome to Owakas. So yeah, that's also a very good point. Uh. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really sell here. Maybe this. We already have the fireball, but... Yeah, it's going to cost me too much. Basically, I wanted to see if I could get this uh, Confuse Ward. They're quite tough to get, these. Um, but I think... I think we'll manage. Right, who is going to be our team here? Hmm. Walker's obviously a must. The only thing with Walker is that his HP isn't that good. Now he. Whoa, he literally has the least HP of everyone on the team. That's crazy. Wouldn't have guessed that. But Poison Ward is nice. Uh, so we'll keep him. Um, it's not weak to any elements in particular, so it doesn't really matter what he has. He doesn't have any strength anyway. Any strength modifiers. Um. Got to wonder if Demi works again. Uh, don't spoil it in the chat if you already know, but I've got to I've got to give Demi a go. That could be big. And obviously for the arms, um, Oren and Kimari could be helpful. We get one flare. So I think we'll probably do it like this for now, and just see how we go. Okay. May I know when Final Fantasy VIII Attack Only will be uploaded? Not yet. Um, I've only just recorded content for it. I haven't done any voiceover or editing, so I need a little bit of time. Um, I think probably like a couple of weeks or so, I'd say, um, before I really get going with that. So, something like that. Okay, let's go for it. See what we can do. I think Sinsborn Gree was immune to slow, no? I don't think it can be slow, so I don't think that would be very helpful. Are you ready? Mr. Keenock, please. It will still follow the usual two week per episode routine. Yeah, I think so. That's well, how Sin that's how I'll do. Sin always returns for its spawn. To make sure we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is jacked. Right, here we go. <laughs> Titus is Sinspawn. <laughs> Jack is a better father to Sinspawn than to Titus. Rip. But yeah, Titus is, is Sinspawn, I guess, so he, he counts there too. Right. Let's see. Um, 
Honestly, Null Shock would be kind of funny to start with here. I don't think it does that much damage, but why not? Uh, let's fire off the Demi. Let's see what happens. This will be very interesting. If it works, then obviously the, the whole battle takes a different turn here. It does work. Wow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's a big deal. Wow. That is a big deal. Again, you're not really supposed to have Demi at this point. So I guess the game it kind of didn't really bother to make him immune to it because it shouldn't be a thing anyway. But it is. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for, for not spoiling it in the chat, anyone who did know, because like I said, I think that's part of the fun to just see how these things work uh, or not. So... Yeah, Waka might be in a little bit of danger here. The punch is very hard, but let's just take a chance. Have a look. Nice critical there. Yeah, that's a pretty hot start. But yeah, that counter-attack is not doing much. But yeah. Arms are in the way. Okay. Uh, now... Let's use a flare on the head as well. Why not? Let's just get that head out of commission as quickly as possible. Look at that. Get him wrecked. And well, Demi's doing massive damage to the main uh, body as well, which is going to come in handy later. So. That I can hear, eh? Yeah, already. I think this should... Wait, no. If it's not critical, then I think it won't kill it, yeah. Hmm. Excellent evasion as well. Uh, he's got enough MP for the water girl, so why the hell not? Finish it. Titus finishing off uh, since Fauna's head with a water girl. This is randomizer Final Fantasy X in a nutshell here. <laughs> there you go. Dead. So, now... Um, Kimari's got so much MP as well, it's brilliant. I forget, does his head regenerate? No, there's no regeneration of the head here. But we've already done more than half of the damage to the central body as well. Um, let's just do a dragon fang, see if we can get rid of the arms. Yes, sir. A thousand damage to the body as well, that was a lot. Yeah, we're absolutely flying through. I think Demi obviously just absolutely completely changed this battle. Okay. Yep, still. We got enough MP for one more, and then I guess I would imagine the middle, like the core, has MP too if we wanted it. So could literally just get some back. So obviously any boss... Ah, that's not a lot. But at least we get one more. But any boss that's vulnerable to gravity damage, obviously, is, is not going to have a good time. But yeah, now we get access to Thundara Fury. I don't remember... Is it one of these things where it doesn't work properly on Steam? I had that problem with the Steam deck, but I forget um, if it was an issue here. I would try, but there's a chance uh, it might not work. Like, the rotating the analog stick is a bit of a problem. It has been for me, at least in the past. Let's see. No, it does work. Okay. I guess maybe it's a Steam Deck thing? Yeah, it just, for some reason on the Steam Deck, it just doesn't work. But I guess here it does. Okay. I think, honestly, Waka does more damage. Mm, at this stage, Demi will do less damage, so we'll take a little risk here, he might die, but... Yeah, so it seems like that, that issue continues. Um, the, the Fury not working properly on Steam Deck. I wondered if they'd somehow fix it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. 
Maybe it depends on the controller, possibly, I don't know. Um... I kind of want to give Titus an ether and then just be here with a flare. This is wasteful, but why not? <laughs> Yeah, true. I think uh, Kimari Seed Cannon shouldn't be used. Actually, I'll use Jump instead. It's not a huge difference, but yes. Um, I think you're right, because he normally gets it with um, with uh, using Lancet. So yeah, I think you're right. There you go. There we go. Tide is defeating Sin Spawn Grief with a Flare. <laughs> So we will see um, if it just continues to be like very easy. Um, if it's still fun enough, obviously I don't care. It doesn't necessarily have to be hard as long as you're playing it in a new way. Uh, that's fun. I don't care that much. But I, th I think, like I say, once Riku comes into the mix as well, depending on how things are going, I might give you guys the chance to um, just basically force me to use three characters. And that's it. We'll see. Is Seymour's ability is going to get randomized too? I, I highly doubt that. Look out! Can we see Seymour's overdrive just for fun? It, take, it takes a long time to set that up. I forgot if his overdrive mode was stoic or not. And well, in this one, um, Yuna only has Kuraga, so I'm not sure if we can even. I don't want to waste that much stuff to heal him. Strange how those little prawn things drop in the cutscene, but do we ever even fight them? Good question. I don't think so. Not, not, not those. No. You can always just press F2. True. You know what? I think for that one, we will we'll finish it off with a Seymour overdrive. I'll just press F2. I'll use the the cheat to give him the full overdrive. Alicia, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. The way he kind of just like it, in that in that scene, back, it looks like he literally just pushes Please. back Sinsborn Gree with like enormous strength. Yeah, like it's not even just holding off. It looks like he just pushes it back. <laughs> I always found that quite funny. Okay, let's get going. Cars, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Hopefully this time it's uh, issue free. you have again? Silence Buster. I don't know if the ship worked. Let's just mess around with it. Yeah, it's not going to work. Let's try a death. <laughs> Why not? If this works, we don't get to see Seymour's overdrive, but killing ah, Sin Spawn Gree with death would have been too funny. But it wasn't having that. So we'll just let Seymour handle it here. Basically, we don't have much we can do in this fight. We'll just wait for Seymour to finish the job. I think Requiem does maybe like 2,000 and something damage. It's not like a huge amount of damage. So I'll, I'll wait till he gets to around 1,000 and then take it out. You want Kimari, uh, you want Oren to attack Seymour for fun, sure. 
I think Seymour will probably evade it. Let's see. He didn't. <laughs> okay. Ah, El No with the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you so much. El No, the MVP, returns once again and blesses us with the support. Thank you so much. And for that, we shall do Requiem. So we'll just activate a little cheat here just to get the overdrives up. Wait, does it not work for Seymour? That's interesting. So this cheat doesn't work for non-regular uh, party members. There you go. Well, that's something we've learned. I thought this would be a nice quick way to get Seymour to have the overdrive. But it doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Yeah, so you'd have to wait a long time here to get this to work, but... <laughs> there you go. So, that the more you know. <laughs> There's always something interesting going on in these games that you just didn't know about. And so you can't heal him either, but thankfully, obviously, he knows. He's got so much MP, and he knows this stuff anyway. But it will take a while. But yeah, I guess Seymour is just, he operates on a different uh, plane to everybody else. I'll keep curing him so that Demi does more damage. But you can see how hard it is to naturally get, it's impossible basically to naturally get the overdrive. You have to really work for it. But that's why it's a cool find. Like whoever kind of took the time to just wait for Seymour's overdrive. I think that's cool. At least we get to hear the challenge theme in all its glory. But yeah, it takes a while. Curious to see what uh, equipment drops we get after these. Nearly there. Again, God bless the four times speed here. Would literally take like 10 15 minutes to do it otherwise. Thankfully, it fires up a decent amount of demis and he can just keep healing himself. Chances for sleep proof armor drop? Potentially, yes. Can you still use Blitz Ace if the person who throws the ball is dead in battle? I think you can. As in, like, the animation still happens like normally, as if they, they weren't dead. That's what I seem to remember. Damn, 70, 80 mile an hour wins. Stay safe, Rhoda. Sounds brutal there. I mean, for the UK at least, that's that's very, very strong. I know there's places out there that it's not that uncommon to get storms that have way more powerful winds, but for us, like, 70, 80 is a big deal. The ball comes out of nowhere in that case. There you go. Fair play. Okay, there we go. Time for Seymour's Overdrive. Giving you guys the full show. It kind of would be nice if uh, the person throwing the blitz ball is dead. It would just be a long pass from Letty. But there's a callback to, to that scene. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, and like you have the commentator and everything just coming in, just showing a long pass from Letty. Ooh, sleeper. It had to be the guy who already has a TKO. Damn it. The others. These FMVs are really cool. I'm trying to remember, there was something else in the game that had the same animation as Requiem, but I forget what it was. I think there was at least one more move. It's definitely not a unique animation. I feel like there's got to be something. Sunburst. I think that's the one. I think Sunburst Overdrive might have it. That's a good, that's a good shout. I think it's that one.
I'm always baffled as to why Seymour gets AP after the fight. Yeah, it's kind of a tease. Like, it makes you think he might actually join at some point. Yeah, I think it's, it's got to be some burst that has the same animation as Requiem. See you later, Michaels. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Sunburst uses dark matter animation. So what is Requiem? Completely unique in Final Fantasy X then? Is it really? Maybe it just looks similar then. I always thought it was the same animation. Requiem is unique. Okay, fair play. It always looks similar to me. I tend to not question anything <laughs> Karifian says. He, he knows more about the, especially like the data side of the game than I do. If he says it's unique, I'll, I'll go with him, unless there's proof otherwise. It's startup is the same animation to Animus Overdrive, that's why. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, time to check on Gata. Yeah, we knew the plan would fail, and we sent him to the front lines anyway. I'm sure nothing bad happened as a result, but is he is his body in the same place that it is? Ah, uh, yeah. F in the chat once again. Huh? Gata? Gata, come on, wake up. Oof. That double, <gasps> that double slow-mo <gasps> slump. Jeez. Possibly not the greatest crying, sobbing voice acting there from old James Arnold Taylor. I think he, he's not actually that sad either. He's just kind of pretending to be, maybe. <laughs> Lucy will get over it. Don't you run away from me! But the scene kind of triggering like that is pretty cool, actually. Uh, with Gutter's death, it feels more like you know he's obviously angry about the fact that Gutter died. It, it's quite a, it's quite a nice uh, scene Stand transition. Back. Stand back! I'll summon. You won't hurt it. <sighs> Your powers are still too weak. But I must do something. Nope. You can't! Do you think Seymour could have 1v1'd Sin with Anima? It's a good question. I mean, no idea what I was thinking. Animus a very powerful Aeon. Day. Before I knew what I was doing, there I was, chasing him down like a thief at market. Maybe I was angry. Maybe I wanted to go home. I kept thinking of Xanarkand and my old man. Yeah, that's why I love Anima, like the whole story behind it. Anima becoming uh, Seymour's fine Leon and that kind of thing. It's just great. And the fact we get to actually have Anima. I remember when I first found that out, that that was possible, it blew my mind. My first playthrough, I had no idea, of course. So when I found that out, I was like, yeah, I, it's like one of the reasons, again, you just want to play the game again. Anima is sort of incomplete in terms of being a fine lay on though, right? I would have to assume so. I don't think it's like the full finished article. And I think like Seymour's reluctance probably means it's not as powerful a fine lay on as it should be. But I think it's, you can't, put it in the same category as a normal Aeon. I think there is something special about Anima in that sense, but probably not a fully fledged one that could have defeated Sin, I think, because Seymour just, I think, he just did, obviously, he didn't want it to happen. I don't think, like, anyone ever really wants to sacrifice someone else to, for the final Aeon, but 
I think they're much more just resolute about their plan. There's more of a mutual decision. Let them talk. I'm still the best. They say you're no good because you drink all the time. I can quit drinking whenever I want. Then do it now. That I did what not did know. Say? Oh my god. You, you can move in the scene? That's so rad. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe. Why not? Holy today? shit. There you go. Why I have never done this before. Leave for tomorrow. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. That's crazy. I did not know that. There you go. Yeah, most people in the chat didn't know that one I either. Thought I sensed my old man there. <laughs> Thank you, Karifian. <laughs> Somewhere. That's dope. Or maybe it was just Sin's toxin playing tricks on my mind. Yeah, I never tried it. I just watched it like a cutscene. I didn't bother. I don't try to move whenever I see Tyus's model in a cutscene. I just, I just watch. Usually, I think the game makes it a bit more deliberate. Like the conversation that they're having. How many died today? It's kind of silly that he'd be running around anyway. It just People seems like the kind of thing he would dances. say just standing around. So, <laughs> when yeah. will she stop dancing? Never tried. When will it stop? Yuna won't stop dancing. Not until Sin is gone. Those were my thoughts then. I think. Why do today? Well, you can leave for tomorrow as a quote I shamefully remember. And <laughs> I see you're still here. Huh? Many stories ended here today. But yours goes on, I see. What? Love that line. What those lines? Sin had come and gone, but I remained here. And there we go. We did it. Well, our new one. Okay. A swift retreat. Satisfied? What do you mean? Those who turned from Yevon died, while the faithful live on. Hmm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. Yeah, I mean, he's seen some shit. Yeah, totally agree. The, so well. the music here is just is really good. But it now, suits... more than ever, you must be the people's strength. It suits the confidence. <laughs> Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. But you are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? Again, he delivers these lines well, I think. Yuna, take me as your pillar of strength. As Yuna Leska had her Lord Zeon. <laughs> Lady Yuna, until next we meet, farewell. Doesn't Anima have a faith in Barge Temple? Yes, um, Anima does. Um, Seymour's mother is in Barge Temple, voiced by Hedy Barres, voice of Yuna. Um, and so I don't believe any other fine Leons have that. Yeah, I mean, I guess you've got to wonder how many other fine Leons have existed but have failed to defeat Sin or were never used in that way. I'm not sure we know of any others specifically, so it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a niche scenario. But I think calling Anima kind of a failed fine Leon is probably the most accurate, lore-wise. There's definitely like a fine Leon element about Anima, um, due to how Anima was created, but in terms of its power and its its use in the in the story and against Sin, I think it's um, I think a failed fine Leon is probably the better uh, explanation. can't ignore the teachings. 
Long old stream this, innit? Are we boring you, Flattus? Is it because um, I'm not doing the jump rope game? We're going to go for maybe another half an hour tops. And we'll, we'll wrap this one up. But yeah, like when I say, say failed, I just mean because of Seymour's reluctance to have his mother sacrifice. And so I just, I, I don't believe Anima is of the same kind of level as a true final Aeon, like for example, Brass's final Aeon. I just don't think Anima's in the same tier. Ah, I've got to talk to everyone. I think this one those where you have to talk to people to be able to continue on. What about that? Where is he? Yeah, I think we have to talk to Oren to progress here. Sin is checked. Yeah. For a while there, I thought I could feel him. But that doesn't mean I believe you. Sin is checked. He came here for you. So he killed all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. As long as he is Sin, Jekt will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Always with I'm the laugh. I'm not laugh. done talking to you! Don't you run away! You're the, You're one, the one running. running. Ah, so good. He always just does that little chuckle at like the most annoying time, just when he's about to spill the beans. Okay. I think now we can move on. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary Seymour's bond with his mother that wasn't strong enough. I think it was a decision he never agreed for. Yeah, exactly. That's generally what I'm getting at. Um, I think that's that's an important factor. I got stuck with the fight with Seymour, I can't get past him. Which one? <laughs> There's a lot of them and they multiple ones can be hey, difficult. Hurry up. But let's have the Kimari moment first. She's awfully cheerful. In dark times, she must be. She must shine bright. Huh? <laughs> His shock. Now are dark times. Yuna tries hard. We should help her then. If we worry, she tries harder. Do not frown. What a legend. Don't worry, be happy. Kimari, try too. Smile, let me see. Mm. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> His response to that being sad is just like, come on, man. Kimari giving you like a big grin like that and your response is sad. That's just rude. That is just rude. But yeah, Kimari. One of my favorites. I still feel one of the most underrated characters. His, his arc in general. I think this was great. Always been a fan. And has some of the best one-liners the whole game. But yeah, he does have... I remember finding the number of lines or words that Kimari has um, before, but I've forgotten now, obviously. It was a long time ago. But it's very little. But hey. He uses a few words, but he seldom uses them in vain. Um, so now we have... We have the Basilisk. So now we have Petrification issues. And we don't have Isuna, I believe. We kind of have to be careful here. So no one has any petrification protection. So we have to be careful. See you later, Kane. Thanks for hanging out with us. Catch you for the next one. But yeah, we'll see what we can do here. We have to definitely be a little bit careful. 
yeah, we can get... Oh, of course, it had to be double basilisks to start here. Um, is there anything we can kind of do to slow them down? Or I don't want to just try and fire off a flare immediately. Um, yeah, they're not weak to water either. I could have spammed a few waters potentially. Hmm... Just gonna have a quick look around here. Um, yeah, obviously death, but again, it's a one it's a one time thing. If I get stuck and I'm in danger of dying, then yes, obviously death, but I'm gonna try to avoid it if I can. But I do need to get the stone through from the NPC, but I've gotta obviously catch them or talk to them first. I forget which one specifically gives it. So we'll try them all. But we only know Thundara, and it, it halves Thunder as well, so this is a, a dangerous encounter here. You have to be careful. I think the Silence stop... I think Silence stops Stone Gaze, right? Should be like a magic move. I think this might be a good lane for us to go through. We shall see. And I think Demi is good against these guys too, especially early on. We'll do some damage. Yeah. Um, and then Sleep Buster for the other one. So trying to keep them under control here. So where those stays... Ah, well there you go. So it doesn't work. So Sleep is the more consistent option. Er, yeah, you can see they're a dangerous... They're a dangerous bunch. And we don't have Softs either. I think. So we literally have no way... Oh wait, we do? Okay, good. I didn't say we literally have no way to recover from it, but we do, thankfully. So, tough encounter here. Uh, we don't have that many tools to, to beat these guys. I think, to that end, I will actually use one of these early on, just let it charge up again. We don't want to get a game over on the first encounter. Yeah, I think at least one of them can be taken out now. Uh wonder how much this does. It's probably not going to be that much. No. Mm. Yeah, just having to be very careful for this one. At least we get ability spheres, though, and potentially, like, poison touch and stuff, which could be nice. Also, I should check Waka's weapon. Uh, that could be useful too. But honestly, just to guarantee that it dies, I'm just going to use this. 573 for future reference. And we should have enough in the tank here to finish it off. Yeah. Okay. They're definitely not an easy encounter here. Um, we're a bit vulnerable, but we might, we might get some um, Stonewall stuff potentially, but... No equipment drops there from either one, which is a bit lame. Fine. But more MP on the way. Now, did Waka get a sleep strike? Let's see. Yes! Oh, that's a good drop. Okay, fine. So I think the TKO, we're not going to use it. We're doing good damage anyway. I think we've got we to gotta stick with that. So Waka, he's only got 818 HP, bless him, but he's, uh, he's pretty clutch. Do you think weapons and armor have enough impact to do a default equipment run? Yeah, um, initial equipment runs are, are a thing. It's definitely a, a pretty significant challenge. So, yeah, it's definitely one way to make the game uh, more challenging. So I do recommend giving it a go if you're curious. Uh, 27. Okay, so Auron takes over again as the, the strongest party member. Okay, let's keep it moving. Is it this guy that gives you the stone proof? Can we get to him? Ah, one step away. And of course, Basilisk again. This time, though, because only one, I think we have a better chance of dealing with it. Now, mm, silence isn't helpful to us. Magic break isn't helpful either. I think sleep is the only thing, and Waka has both the sleep buster and the sleep weapon. So we kind of have no choice. Can well then, what Lulu next? take them out with a Thundara? I think she can, yeah. That should be enough. Okay. 
Am I Turkey or England for this year's Euro? I historically I've always been uh, like more of a supporter of Turkey than of England. It's my family culture, my upbringing is, is more Turkish than English, so for me Turkish. But I think like on paper England had the best squad, so I think England had the best chance of winning of anyone. England or France probably still, but I I have to like back England in terms of their chances of winning. I think there's definitely a good chance they're gonna win it. So it'd be pretty special. I've seen so much disappointment from them over the years that I, I think at this stage they, they kind of need a major win at this stage. So, yeah, I, w I would definitely, I'd be happy if they win. But yeah, this is much better. The sleep strike helping here. Passion play. Hello, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. We're getting close to, to wrapping things up here. Whoop. Let's get him. Thank you. So for the double basilisk encounters, we can definitely make use of that. What's the difference between Nab Girl and Pilfer Girl? Let's have a quick look. Hmm, it won't say. I, I thought maybe there's some way of getting some kind of description, but you'd have to learn the ability first, I think, possibly to see in the help text what it would say. So, yeah, someone's going to have to search that one up and let us know. Mug versus Steel sounds like it, it could be. It's just their abilities I basically never use. Nabgill is the Mug version. Okay. Cool. No Blaze, Dark Attack. I think Dark Attack's a good one. Well... Uh, all the abilities. Luck. Dark attack. No blaze. Okay. And what does Wonka gain here? Protect. Oh, that's an interesting one. Wow. But when does this man get some HP? Okay. Now, he, basically, by the end of this grid, he's going to start to be really, really powerful. He already is, but his uh, his Achilles heel is that his HP is low, but that's going to be fixed soon as well. I think the difference between Mug and Steel is Mug. Yeah, Mug is an attack as well, so you do damage at the same time. So Pil Titus knowing Pill for Gill is not the worst, but again, it's just it costs a lot of MP, so it's not very efficient for us to use. Hmm. Okay. This is a bad combination again. Let's bring Yuna out. Can at least silence bust the one of them so we don't deal with the fire. Oh, what? I forget that pollen is also one of those that is not a spell. That sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, I always hate those guys. Well, Walker's low HP and low magic defense is not going to be helpful here. He might die. Um, 408, is that enough? Hmm. I think he can take it out. Okay. Right, they're back up. Um... I think again I'm going to switch to the fire weapon to just make sure I do this properly. There we go. Okay. I think we'll wait just a little longer here. And then we'll wake up the Basilisk with some attacks. Wow, 177 is bad. Titus' strength is definitely pretty terrible here. I think one Stone Gaze is not the end of the world here. Yeah? 
There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Nice. So many criticals. Okay. This primer, man. I always miss it. <laughs> always miss it. This time I got a little bit lucky there. In general, it's, it's one you very easily pass by. And I've definitely done it in the past. Look at that. This little section is so powerful for him. Oh, plus four magic too. Let's go. Alright, Tide is starting to pop off now. 112 MP. He's got two flares up his sleeve and 12 magic now. Looking good. Okay. Keep it going. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you see, Titus is now too weak to to basically kill these um, these wolves in one hit unless he has the elemental. So, got to make sure. Oren's fine, and Walker can two six five. It's decent. Yeah, there is a chest on the left. Though. I do remember that one. I need to make sure I get that. Don't remember what's in it, but there is a chest on there. But yeah, looking good. See you later, Rachel. Thanks for joining us today. See you for the next one, hopefully. Yeah, this one's also hidden. Like the Albed Primer, there's a couple of hidden little things here that you've got to watch out for. Uh... Ah, we did have another ability sphere. Nice. Thank you. Ugh, this bloody encounter. Um, at least Waka can one hit KO now, which will help. And so can Auron, to be honest, so that only leaves uh, this guy. You know what? We're nearing the end of the road. I just want to see. I think basically, in terms of damage per unit of MP. I think casting multiple wall triggers is better than casting a flare. And so you can literally get almost four triggers in. So I might do that instead, actually. He does have a beefy 12 magic now. Six, seven, four. That's not bad. It's not bad. I think we can, as long as there's only one Basilisk at a time, I think we'll be okay. We still have a couple more sops and we'll buy some more when we get a chance. Um, I thought about it a bit late, but have you tried the new Sinspawn Grease skip yet? Honestly, I've never really tried any uh, speedrun strategies. I've never like analyzed speedruns properly or anything like that, so I don't know too much about it. Um, so the answer is no. But yeah, I think we're strong enough to, to fight through here. Yeah, nice. That's how it's done. So the double Basilisk is a bit of a problem, but as long as it's not the double one, uh, it's not too bad. But we've got no equipment drops from any Basilisk so far. I feel like that's a bit, a bit lame. I always lean on summon so hard for this retro road. I think for me, in earlier runs, I used to summon... Um, I think the one, the place where I would lean on summons more was uh, Thunder Plains hey, and Ixion. I would summon Ixion quite Still a lot. Ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains. But I do have a plan to um, to do it like a speed run reaction oh, slash analysis type video. Um, I'm, and before that, I got permission from we get to pray at the temple in Jose. Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? 
Sorry, I had to listen to that dialogue. I like that. Yeah, um, I chatted to a, a, a speedrunner who, who who will allow me to, to use footage of their um, speedrun for future content. So it's something I might be uh, giving a go. Basically, I want to see, like, from someone... Must be tough, for someone like me who knows the game really well, like what does it <laughs> look like? Fine. What do speedruns look really? like? What kind of strategies are they utilizing? Uh, I think it'd be fun to know. So I want to do like a kind of a reactionary analysis kind of look at the the speedrun of Final Fantasy X. So we'll see. Hey, new guy. <laughs> me? I love that. Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna. You know about Sin and Jack. You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. <laughs> ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> I love that interaction. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Just so much... Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? <laughs> just so much gold between Titus and Oren. The interactions are just so, so good. But yeah, I think we made good progress in this sesh. Glad I made it this far. Is that the Jose Temple? So, where do we see Luzu now that he survives? Is he here as well? He, was he like outside the temple? Yeah, he is. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, he's standing there. You can see him. But yeah, for people who did join in later on, I do have a mod that basically gives all of the party the members uh, AP. It only opens when a summoner it's an option you can toggle in the untitled Project X mod for the Steam version. Right, that's done. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? Donna. We have to hurry. What if right. it's Donna? In we go. Hey Bo, welcome to the stream. And Shinkansen Lion, thank you for joining the Shoe Pup Riders. Appreciate it. Uh, the new ones. So, let's speak to Luzu, because this is a scene that I don't get to see very often. I went from like zero to hundred very quickly. Luzu, knock it off! You, you, you don't know what it's like. Mm. I do know. I. I'm sorry. Why don't you go home now? To be safe. Take it easy a while. Rest, yeah. Rest. You need some R and R. You're hurt, yeah? You, know? <laughs> you need some R and R. You're hurt, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> That's just—it sounds better. a bit weird. <laughs> I can't beat up on you when you're all depressed, huh? huh right. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta appreciate Waka's uh, effort there, I guess, with Luzu, considering like how the scenes played out before that. Uh, you can show, you can see that he cares uh, for Luzu a lot, and he at least tried in his own way to, to make things a bit better. But yeah, like, it's a very intense scene there. A... And I think what would have been re really interesting is that I guess because the player, like, well, Titus and the people, well, us controlling Titus, we play such a direct role in Gutter dying. I wonder if, like, it would have been nice to have some narration or something where it plays on Titus's mind, like, what happened here. And, you know, like, maybe he says something to Luzu, you know, like, you know, 
uh, he asked me and I said this or something like that. It would have made for a very interesting scene, I think. Um, but it's kind of just completely ignored in that sense. Because you have, obviously you have a choice, I think it would have taken more effort to have both scenarios from Tyres' side. So yeah, maybe not literally saying I told him to go to the front lines twice, but something that implies that he kind of encouraged him maybe to to do something that led to his death. This is all punishment for turning from Yevon. But yeah, there we go. Hoffenheim, thank you for the donation once again. I wish Titus would have said he'd send him to... <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what I'm generally getting at. Would have made definitely for an interesting scene. Sarah Wells, welcome to the stream. But we are basically at the end of it at this point, unfortunately. Uh, for anyone just heading in now. But we can buy softs at least. That's good. Definitely need a bunch of those. Okay. So I think I am going to wrap this sort of first live live session of 2024 here and I will join you guys for the next one. So it's going to be in two weeks time. So Tuesday, oh, what is it? The 16th? Let me double check. Should be. Uh, yes, indeed. Tuesday the 16th will be the next stream. Same time, uh, 1.30 p.m. UK time and we will continue the journey, uh, complete the temple, head towards the moon flow, meet the Hypelos, rise the Shulpa, and continue on. So thank you all for joining me once again. Hope you're all having a great start to 2024, and I will see you guys on the channel, and I hope you enjoy the content that is to come. So take care, everyone, and I will see you next time.